What's up YouTube, Mr. Computer Answers here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own server on the game release of Minecraft 1.0.0. So, all these links that I'll be using will be in the description. The first thing you want to do, click on the first link in there, and it'll bring you to this site. It'll say Unmanaged, Unmanaged, and you want to go ahead and hit Download Now. This is Hamachi. So, when you download Hamachi, you want to go through all the steps, it may ask you for your password, Go ahead and install Hamachi on, and then when you install Hamachi, it'll you'll get something like this, this window here, and you'll be kind of wondering like, what is this? Well, the first thing you kind of want to do is kind of go ahead and click this power button, and that's what you want to do. Click the power button, go through its steps here. Okay, so now that it's finished, you can already see that I've already I already have my two servers on here, but. When you guys do this, it'll pop down a window that says create a new server or join a server. Now, if you want to make your own server with your own idea and, and you are running on your computer, you want to create a new server. However, if you, if you want to join a friend's server that uses Hamachi, you want to say join server. So for me, I'll just go network, create a new network. And then this is what you want to call it. So we'll call it tutorial server 2. And password? just like one two three four and create it'll create you your server and that's all you need to do in Hamachi so now what you want to do is go to the second link in the description that link will bring you to Minecraft's actual website so now this is where you want to make a decision whether you want to have a normal Minecraft server you can have survival or creative mode on that or if you want to have a server with mods such as world edit, world guard, so on and so forth so if you want just a normal server with survival and creative, you can go ahead and download this one and it'll download into your downloads file. However, if you want mods, go to the third link and it'll bring you to this website. I'll be going over how to get mods. The, the process is exactly the same, however, you use craftbuckets.jar instead of this minecraft.jar, which gives you a plugin folder, if that makes any sense at all. So I'll be doing the mods way, so I'll go to the third link in the description, bring you here, I want to click on this link to download it. And once it's downloaded, go to your downloads and show in Finder. And here it is, right here, it'll look like this. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you're always organized. So make a new Finder window and make, make a fi new folder on your desktop. So let's call this tut and drag this the jar you just downloaded into this folder so now we've got this the next thing you want to do is open text edit and go to the fourth link in the description and it'll bring to bring you to this minecraft wiki website now you want to grab this highlight it copy it Grab your text edit and go to format, make plain text. Now, just paste it in there. Now you've got this. Basically, what this is telling you is it'll uh, drive your Minecraft, or it'll start your Minecraft.jar, and it, when you're using that uh, Minecraft.jar, you'll use one gig of RAM. So if you want to add more RAM, you can just go two gigabytes. 2 gigabytes, give it 2 gigabytes. It's really up to you how much uh, RAM you want to give it. So once you've done with that, you want to go File, Save As, and Desktop Tutorial, and we'll save this as Start.Command, and save it. Now that we've done that, if we go back to our Finder, and you'll see we've got these two files now. However, if you remember right, this start command that we just made in uh, text edit is used to drive Minecraft server.jar, but our, we don't have Minecraft server.jar in this file. So, in order to change that, you want to go on this uh, jar here, hit enter, and hit Minecraft underscore server. Enter. Now, it'll work. However, if you see, we double click this and we don't have privileges. So in order to fix that, go into your terminal 
open it up, and what you want to type in is chmod space a plus x, and then drag in this start command here, and it'll put the directory in there, and then basically what this is saying is it's giving you permission to run this file, which starts your server, and then hit enter, and now you have permission. So now, if you double click this, now it'll start your server up. So it's going through all your preparing spawn area. They'll get you'll, at first. It'll give you all these warnings, but it will start it up later, and you'll see all of those warnings will be gone. Um, it may say warning not enough RAM. That's because you didn't give it enough RAM to begin with, and basically change that here, and then restart your server. Now, in order to stop your server. This is here, and just go STOP, stop, enter. And it'll save chunk, stopping server, and complete. Now you can quit that. So now, once you've clicked this start doc command, you can see it's created a whole list of files here. Now this may seem a little overwhelming at once, maybe, maybe not, but I'll be going over pretty much all of these. So the first thing you really want to go through is this server properties file. Now in order to open it, if you double click it, it we usually won't open, but I've set it to automatically open with text edit. So in order to do that, you'd right click, open with other, and bring you to click on your application, scroll down to text edit, and always open with open. Now you've got this. Now basically what it is, anything with this number sign here is automatically ignored in programming. So level name, this doesn't really do anything, it just kind of names the level. Uh it won't show up anywhere. Allow another true basically this is really straightforward you want it to allow it true you don't want it false view distance change whatever you want you don't want monsters false if whatever it doesn't really matter online mode true false false gives you permission to allow other people who have not bought the game to join I'll be going over that in a second tutorial uh, game mode zero is uh, survival and if you set this to one it's creative. I'll just leave it at zero. Spawn animal, max player, server IP, leave it. Just leave it. Uh, PvP, allow people to kill each other. Level seed, straightforward with the seed. Seed chooses how the world works. Don't really know how all those numbers works, but you should know what seeds are. Server port, ignore. Allow flight, choose true, false. Whitelist. What a whitelist is, is Whoever is on the whitelist is allowed in the server. Whoever isn't on the whitelist is not allowed in the server. That simple. Now this MOTD, basically what that is, is when you go into Minecraft and you go to multiplayer, it'll be this thing down here, a Minecraft server. So you can change this to whatever you want. And then once you're done, Command S saves it. And... Now if we go back into here in order to get this to update with the server, go ahead to start the server up and we'll go through everything. As you can see it's getting a lot quicker. So I'll go ahead and stop this again and close that out. Uh, if you want to ban a player, send text edit, open it up, save it, run the server, that we banned. Ops. What an op is, is basically gives you operation to use all the commands of the server. And usually you want to add yourself to this list. So I'll add my name there and command S. And then we can close that out. Close that out. Close that out. And now when you get your plugins, you can put them in here. I'll go over that in another tutorial once again. And I think pretty much all the rest you can ignore for now. Let's go ahead and start the server up and I'll show you how this works. Now, for your IP that you want to give to your friends, it, it'll be on Hamachi. It'll be this number here. Now, in order for this to work, this number, they must have Hamachi and they must have joined your server. So, what you tell your friend is go download Hamachi and then say join network. So, join network and then you give the network ID to them, basically what you called your network, Mine is called tutorial server two. So join network tutorial server two and the password if you remember was one two three four. Then you say join. And then 
you tell them the IP is this, then you go into Minecraft and you go direct connect, you type in this IP here, 5.77, so 5.77.18.161, join server, and there you go. Now if you remember, we are an OP, so that means we can do commands, so if you want to go switch game mode, you can go ahead and hit T slash game mode, your name, and one. Now I can fly around. And that's it for today, guys. Um, I actually have a server, and I'll be releasing it to the public soon, as soon as I can get all of the permissions right, and so on and so forth. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'll give you some screenshots of the server.